So I've tried to get a PS5 twice now. As a former PS2 owner and also a PS3 owner, my first game for the PS2 was Dave Mira 2. I was also fond of games that were in the GTA series. GTA 3 was a huge groundbreaking game for me to play. And I also ended up playing this random game, Pony, that Rockstar Games made, which was a CQC, close quarters combat fighting kind of game. Um, also during my tenure as a PS3 owner, of course, GTA 5 was in there for sure. Also spent a crazy summer trying to beat this Dark Souls 1. Tough one for sure. Uh, way back when, even prior to PS2, I had the PS1 and Crash 3. Got a lot of play. Long game, and they've remastered it since then, but just the fact that I still have it's kind of interesting to me. Uh, but these are just some of the games that I've played leading up to now, and also have to include this one, Metal Gear Solid 3. Snake, 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 snake. So fast forwarding 2022, I'm now upgrading. I've secured a PS5. I stowed away my backwards compatible PS3. Um, so let me walk you through my experience trying to get a PS5 in 2022, August. First time that I went to GameStop to try and pick up a PS5, it was a Saturday morning. It was available just for Pro Rewards members, which I was cognizant of, even though I wasn't a member. Uh, I was lucky enough to get into line as the eighth person there and they only had seven. So I walked away empty handed and was also chastised by the people in line. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, fast forwarding now to August, 2022, I got an email saying that they were releasing PS5s on Friday morning and also Saturday morning. Since I had the Friday off, I gave it a shot. I pulled up at 9 a.m. for a 10 a.m. release. I had a chair with me, I had water with me, I had a book to kill some time, which went by pretty quickly. I even ran into an employee on the way in who said it was okay for me to camp out outside, even though it was camping out for like 45 minutes, um, and that I did not have to be a pro member prior to the purchase so that I could buy it all in one shot, which was pretty great. As the first person in line, I walked out with the dispersion which was priced lower than I expected. As I take a gander at the receipt, it was $499.99. They make you bundle these things now, so I also had to pick up a copy of Madden 23, which was $69.99, and also a black controller for $69.99. I dodged the warranty on there because I don't have kids and I don't have pets, so I'm not too worried about if anything's gonna happen to them. Out of curiosity, I asked the one employee which color of the controller would be ideal because you're allowed to pick it, which I didn't know. Um, he said purple was pretty coveted, but I decided to just go with the normal black controller. Again, Madden 23, I'm not even gonna play, so I already put that on eBay and I think it's, it's sitting at like $47. So if that's not your thing, just try and put it on eBay. I think it's selling pretty quickly. And so here we are unboxing the PS5, I'm ready. I hope you enjoy. All right, so here we are with the PS5. It's a pretty big box. I guess this is like, I don't know, 15 inches or so by, uh, I don't know, some other increment. <laughs> it says PS5 on the top with the logo. And that again, the controller should hopefully look like this and hopefully have the bottom portion so I can actually put my hands on it. Um, it looks as if the tower has the disc area a USB port and maybe a charging area for the controller. Uh, claims that it's H 8K, 4K, 120, HDR. The top of the box looks like that with a nice little handle. Nothing was slipping at all or breaking as this was moving. So that was kind of nice that you could just hold it kind of like a briefcase as you walk out and hope that you don't get jacked or anything. Uh, we'll open this in a second. The back of the PS5 looks like this. Play like never before. Another picture of the tower that I guess now shows that it's on its side or can be on its side. 825 GBs, lightning speed, breathtaking immersion, stunning games. Pre-installed game is rated E. I don't know what game that is, interestingly enough. So I guess I'll find out in time. The side has Again, another thing of the tower and the controller. Nothing crazy, kind of boring. The bottom has this. Some logos again. They have a wine glass, I don't know why. 
They have this serial number for registration. And I think at GameStop, they put labels on this and what number um, the console was. So maybe this was the first disc one and that's what they have here. Under this, it says PS for PS4 console users. It has something else. I don't know what it says. I won't open it though, because I don't have a PS4. Um, so I think we covered all the basics. Let's start at the top. I don't know if I, I should ever like peel these off or cut them. Maybe I can try like this. I always hate it when it damages the box too. Yeah, like I can kind of hear the color coming off. Oh no, that actually was okay. All right. So we're, so we're golden, we're rolling. It flaps open. That's kind of a nice feature. The box folds out with it. So we're taking this big suitcase out now. That sounds pretty cool. And so cool, now we have another box. We now have a white box that was inside the main box. This just has the PlayStation logo on it. Nothing crazy on the sides. Uh, more wine for your wine down here. Let's see, how do we tackle this thing now? There's this little flap. Oh, and that kind of takes out that. And, oh, they have instructions down here. What's this say? What's that say? One, we got to take the box out. Is that the original box? Shouldn't we know that by now? And then we take the styrofoam out as the final step. Okay, plot thickens. That's kind of interesting. Let's see what else happens. Pull that back. Final briefcase strap bit. I think that's the last time we'll see it. Look at how this is packaged in here. That's kind of interesting. They have this little hole here that comes out. All right, we're finally getting to some goods now. What do we have? Thought there would be like a hello here or something like welcoming you to the experience. PS5 quick start guide. We also have a PS5 safety guide. I guess that's cool. Gotta be safe. This looks like the same kind of power cord they've been running with. Put this at the end. I don't know what they call this cord. Shotgun cord. Cool. Maybe it'll be something. We have a controller here in this packaging. For some reason I thought it would be blue, but I guess not. That's cool. I wonder how dirty this is gonna get. Details on that in the two months. Back to the side. Is there anything else in here? Oh yeah, we got more. Got more under this. We have what looks like just another basic charging cord. I think this might be the same one that they have for PlayStation 3. I'm assuming this is for the controller. These are not rubber bands, these are little twisty ties, so there's that. And what do we have here? Looks like a circle. This has its own little baggie. It's kind of interesting. What's this? I guess this is what you would put the tower in. Tower by Stephen King. You put the Tower by Stephen King in here and it would stand up proper and have Matthew McConaughey come out and dictate what's happening. Okay, question mark on this one right here. Don't know what that's gonna do. Uh, this looks familiar, HDMI. One of these will go in the back of the TV. One of these will go in the back of the tower. Console tower that is. So we need that. Packaging can go to the side. And then here it is, I hope, this tower. It's 
the best way to do this. Let's uh, put this down so it doesn't fall out. Make me regret not getting the warranty that was available. If you buy the warranty, let me know. I think that's an interesting thing. I'm curious why people get that. Okay. Don't know what to do with these. Go there. More of this packaging. Let's see what this console is really working with. Show me what you're working with. All right. Looks like we got a tower. It's very white with black in between. That looks like a PlayStation console for sure. This is probably the back, or no, this is the front, duh. Looks as if there's a power button, a disc open button, USB and one for charging the controller. What else is here? This is on its top now. What I'm assuming is the top. Yeah, it has that little, it's a nice little insignia, PlayStation logo up there. And then this is the back. What are we working with here? Looks as if there is a power bit. We looked at that earlier, HDMI, Ethernet. Yeah, so power, HDMI, Ethernet, two USBs. I don't know if that's for anything, this little hole here. So that'll be interesting to find out in time. There's really nothing else on it besides the PlayStation logo, which it might even be the back. That's where that logo is, interestingly enough. So let's do a, a quick recap. We have HDMI, we have the controller charger, we have the controller, we have this tower thing. Still don't know how to use that one yet. And then power. And so it also came with these two booklets. No way to make those look good. So that's the PS5. This cleanup might not take very long at all. There's only six things to really dispose of or put back in the box. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in.